you don't know how many months I've had this in the back of my cupboard just waiting to be reviewed I've probably had it for about what four or five months now just sitting there in its packaging waiting to be reviewed I just can't find the time to do it though but now I've picked it up and I've got it so I picked this up from TK Maxx for about £12 and I love the original Yop Om line from what well, back in the 80s, 80s beast clubbing fragrance. Everyone loved it, longevity, projection, everything was impeccable. But for this, now that they've pulled out a little flanker, they're pulling out numerous flankers and I've already got a couple of them as well. But um, I haven't smelt wild. And for some weird reason, I don't know why, from the packaging, I get a bit of a uh, Halloween type, <laughs> Halloween type vibe. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be sweet? Like, you know how you have like candy and like sweets and stuff in Halloween? Is it supposed to be overly sweet? It looks a bit dark as well. But I don't know what I'm expecting here, really. 2012 release. Let's get into it and see what this holds. Some of these Yop Om Yop fragrances have been absolute beasts, just like the Yop Om fragrance from the 80s. But some of them have, you know, have been not as good. I can't lie. Yop is a very nice house, but Yop Jump was just atrocious. I can't lie. So they've got that original little brand, little brandishing over here. It looks like an upside down pineapple. Uh, I'm not too sure what that is, to be honest, but. Yeah, the box looks nice overall. Silvery, grey, smoke. And it's nice, it's nice. So, what I initially got from Fragrantica. Oh, that's a nice bottle. Decent looking bottle. A nice twist on the original. So, what I was saying is, on uh, Fragrantica, they have only four notes listed. That is white tobacco. Rum, uh, what else was there? Oh, pink pepper and like some woodsy stuff as well. Um, pink pepper, give it that playful vibe, I presume. Let's let's have a little smell. Uh, yeah, peanuts, <laughs> peanuts on the uh, the lid. Not much there. It's very very weak. Very, I say weak. Very light. I meant, I meant to say. That's a, a very elongated neck. <laughs> Let's give this a spray and stop judging it beforehand. Right. Right. Whoa. I guess Halloween's come early. <laughs> it's very, very sweet. Very, very overly sweet. Almost smells like a mojito, like a strawberry mojito. That's what I get initially. Um, I know it's starting to get a little bit more darker. I haven't smelled the tobacco yet, the white tobacco or the woodsy. Do you know what? I get the rum. I get the rum. It's slowly, slowly coming in with the sweetness because that, that rum gives it that earthiness. It's not like if you guys have smelled... Bentley for men intense. It's nothing like that sort of rum. That rum is very pungent. But for this, it's slowly creeping in and it has that earthiness almost. And I think it's paired very nicely with the sweetness. But I want to know what, what actually happens in the dry down because this Comparing this to like Bentley for Men Intense, it's it's kind of like two different generations. So Bentley for Men Intense is like more of the middle-aged man. And this smells very youthful, very youthful. It's becoming more gourmandy. I know it's, it's, it's got some of those spices like the oriental type fragrances. It's not too strong though. It's, it's a lot more sweet than it is spicy. I 
I don't know what I think initially, to be honest. Like, I, I like more of the uh, older style perfumes. I know this um, is a flanker of the original Om from like 89, 1989. It's given... Is given more of a sweetness to the actual DNA itself. And I love the Om, the Yop Om from the 80s. Even then, that was a little bit sweet as well. This is, is quite different. I think the rum is, is working here and I, I'm, I'm starting to like it a lot more. You can smell the woodsiness. I'm just... The tobacco, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I haven't I haven't smoked the tobacco yet, but again, it hasn't really been on my hand for that long either. But I am I am starting to like it, even though it is very youthful. I presume this is more of like a a, a clubbing type fragrance. It's very very sweet. The projection and longevity wise, I'm not too sure about longevity. I'll give it. I'll probably let you guys know in another video, but. Projection wise, I don't think it would overly project. I don't think it'll be be like again the Bentley for Men Intense. It's, it won't be choking people out with that the the rum note or anything like that. The sweetness kind of slowly simmers. Slowly, I think it depends on how many times you're spraying it as well. But for me, I've sprayed it maybe two three times on the same spot. It's slowly simmering. I think people will generally get a, a little whiff of it, but it's not going to choke anyone out. Oh, I'm getting some coconutty vibes as well. Maybe that's because of the rum and like the sweetness that's coming together. But as I said before, it's like a mojito type um, fragrance and maybe pina colada. I don't know. <laughs> but it's it's pretty nice. It's 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 working a lot better on the dry down as it's drying down. But yeah, it's it's uh it's not it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I can't lie. I, I probably would prefer the original Om to this because it, even though it was sweet, it's still a lot more mature smelling than this one, and. It, probably last longer as well that's my only concern but yeah it is masculine maybe women can pull it off because of the sweetness it is very sweet i, I wouldn't recommend wearing this to work <laughs> as as uh as amazing as it may seem i don't think you probably should be wearing this to work it's very sweet it's more likely a clubbing fragrance, but it is nice, it is nice. As it's becoming more mature, it smells a lot more like body cream and stuff like that. Any product from like the body shop or... Yeah, it's, it's good. It's the, the coconut-y vibe is getting a bit more intensified in this and I, and I like it, I like it. It's not really my cup of tea, for say, but I like it. Um, yeah, so masculine, but women can wear it. Um, other than that, yeah, overall, I, I would definitely wear it, I can't lie. I would definitely wear it. But I, I prefer the really dark perfumes, as you guys may already know. So, yeah, I think that's it. I'm not disappointed, but I'm not overly... Uh, I'm not jumping up and down about it. It's nice. It's nice. Guys, you already know the drill. Subscribe, like, share, comment. And pass these videos over to your mom, your dad, your uncle, your auntie, your cat's dog's best friend, everyone. Just share these videos. And people that really love sweet perf perfumes, go for this. Definitely. It only cost me about £12 anyway. So you can't really go wrong. Alright guys. Until next time.